This is Chris Joko from DSD Business Systems. I am the Principal Solutions Architect for the Acumatica team. Today, I wanted to take you through a little introduction of Acumatica's Retail Commerce Edition. Acumatica's Retail Commerce Edition was put together so that we can offer different alternatives to just your traditional phone and call-in order type of customers. The Retail Commerce Edition allows for us to integrate with e-commerce platforms like Big Commerce, Shopify. It also includes different retail tools like point of sale systems, like our native point of sale system, or integrations to things like One Retail or Fusion RMS. When we take a look at what is retail commerce, these are different channels that allow you as a company to work with customers all over the world. So today, what we're gonna do is talk about what is retail commerce. We're gonna talk about the storefront versus a marketplace. We'll talk about what is the actual connector and if there's any differences using it between Big Commerce or Shopify. <clears throat> we'll talk about what makes our native connector different than any other integration out there in the marketplace. We'll take a live demonstration of the integration and then we'll close out talking about what customers are the best fit for Retail Commerce Edition and if there are any others that might need to get involved when you're starting to think about putting together a storefront and integrating it with your ERP system. So let's talk about, again, the Retail Commerce Edition. Acumatica's Retail Commerce Edition has two native connectors to online storefronts, both of which are very powerful e-commerce platforms, one being Big Commerce and the other being Shopify. We also have point of sale options like our native point of sale and integrations to Shopify POS, One Retail, as well as Fusion RMS and others. Our e-commerce enabled ERP allows us to communicate and provide the necessary features to support the activities of, of a web-based business. The commerce and ERP systems synchronize data in real time and are always aware of the other's actions. In our environment, our ERP is the master of data. And then we communicate with Big Commerce or Shopify with our connector. But because ERP is at the crux of our business, our ERP is also the crux for our accounting system our CRM system, our warehouse management and sales systems. So what this allows us to do is just give us one more channel out there for that we can take orders and we can, we can work with our clients no matter where they're at. When we're talking about e-commerce and the omni-channel platform, we're talking about different storefronts versus web marketplaces. Storefronts are e-commerce platforms like Big Commerce, Shopify, and Magento. Marketplaces are like places that you could put your products on and you use their marketing to promote your products. So things like Amazon, Etsy, eBay, those are all web marketplaces. And so with our e-commerce or our retail commerce edition of Acumatica, we have connectors natively to two big storefronts, Big Commerce and Shopify. So what is the connector? We have our ERP in its own little bubble here. And that is our back office solution, handles everything from inventory to accounting, to CRM, to sales, to WMS. And then we have our commerce platform like Big Commerce, where we handle our checkout, advanced promotions, customer self-service, marketing automation, 
and so forth. Our connector allows us to push data from our ERP, like products, product info, inventory, shipments, and then pull data in from the commerce platform, like new customers, new orders, payments made on those orders on the web. We also let the commerce platform calculate our taxes for these uh, retail orders. And then we pull all of that data into Acumatica. Our connector engine works to prepare and transfer data to and from our e-commerce platforms. So we pull data from our, from our ERP, from Acumatica. We use our connector engine in real time to synchronize to our e-commerce platform. So 100% of this connector lives inside of Acumatica and uses a REST API to send and receive data with these platforms. We include features inside of Acumatica for managing our e-commerce specific data. And so we'll take a look at that when we get through um, our live demonstration. The connector was built in a way that it could potentially be extended to support other types of systems as long as they have a REST API. So this connector is future-proof. It'll allow Acumatica to integrate with other e-commerce platforms in the future, as well as being able to communicate with other marketplaces like Amazon. So keep, in, uh, keep your eye out on this connector. You know, it only gets better from here. So really what makes our connector different? It's all Acumatica code. So it is what we call a native integration. We can control how our information is displayed on our web store from just within Acumatica. We all know we can manage multiple stores and multiple languages. All of that can be managed within Acumatica. And we can truly control what is synced between our ERP, Acumatica, and our e-commerce platform, whether it's sales orders, customers, items, non-stock items, product availability. All of those can be controlled. We could choose which entities to sync. We can also filter data. So if we don't want to push all of our data to our e-commerce platform, we can decide what we need to filter on the incoming and the outgoing as well as doing mapping of fields, custom fields between Acumatica and our e-commerce platforms, as well as substituting data if maybe the countries are stored different in big commerce and we want to translate that and substitute that to our country list within Acumatica. So with that, let's go ahead and take a live look at Acumatica's Retail Commerce Edition, synchronized with Big Commerce. All right, let's jump right in and take a look at Acumatica's Retail Commerce Edition. Today, we're going to take a look at different personas and get a look at all of the different aspects that go in from taking an order to actually getting it out the door and billing, um, billing the uh, billing the order in our system. So we'll take a we'll, we'll use a couple of different personas from the customer aspect, the e-commerce manager, the warehouse manager, the shipping clerk, um, from the accounting um, aspect, and then we'll take a look at some of the reports and management tools for Acumatica's Commerce Edition. A couple of use cases that we want to look at today inside of Acumatica is, you know, managing product information. So by managing product content, images, optimizing the customer experience, giving them access to invoice history um, of online and offline orders. We'll then take a look at fulfilling from the warehouse utilizing Acumatica's WMS, as well as well as automated accounting functions like our invoicing, email invoicing, and so forth. All in all, having Acumatica's Retail Commerce Edition integrated with your e-commerce platform like Big Commerce will allow the efficiency that your company needs 
to increase business and be able to get orders in and out the door as quickly and as accurately as possible. All right, let's put our inventory product management hat on right now and let's talk about how we can manage product content as well as images on our e-commerce platform directly from Acumatica. On the right hand of my screen, I have my demonstration big commerce site. Uh, it's got a bunch of things from our e-commerce uh, are actually our Acumatica system that I have here on my left. And we're going to talk about how we can manage information from within Acumatica and actually have that automatically populate within Big Commerce. So we're going to take a look here in our inventory workspace and we're going to go into our stock items profile. We control everything from within Acumatica when it comes to the products. So if I look up that Nikon D7500, right off the bat, you can see that the description is coming from Acumatica. You can see here I have this Nikon D7500. It says Ecom test on it. When I click into my stock item within Acumatica, I could start to see some of the things, obviously, when we set up inventory items in Acumatica, we've got the item classes, the posting classes, all of that that's necessary to utilize the item within Acumatica. But we've added other things inside of the stock item screen so that we can control our e-commerce platform. When we look at our attributes tab in Acumatica, we have different attributes that can be synced up to big commerce if we wanted to put colors pixel sizes um, angle sizes things like that and then different categories where this item would automatically appear within your big commerce site so if i'm looking at uh, my electronics um, category here inside of my big commerce site i can see you know whether or not um, this item automatically appears here all of the images for my item are stored within Acumatica. So when I upload images to my stock item screen in Acumatica, those become the images that are available here on our e-commerce platform. So again, as a product manager or as an e-commerce manager, I can have the team that's putting together the items in in the ERP, they can actually attach all of this information and have it appear automatically in Big Commerce. You can see here, here's my SKU. Uh, we can control the, the pricing from within here. So all of the pricing comes from our default price. So if I go to my price cost, that's being controlled here from Acumatica. And then we also have our description tab here where we can use HTML or rich text editing uh, so that we can actually put a full size description and that information as well pushes over to our e-commerce system in big commerce. With the retail commerce edition of Acumatica, we actually add an e-commerce tab. This allows us to dictate where, you know, are we showing this item on the featured section of our website how do we control availability you know are we showing it as available are we showing it as unavailable are we not showing quantities are we not or are we tracking quantities you know are we setting this up as pre-order page title you know so we got the page title how we're dictating all of that in here you know up on our url you know, um, our search keywords, our meta keywords, our meta descriptions, all of that can be controlled within Acumatica as well as some additional media. So if we've got YouTube videos that we want to attach, we can actually put those links here in Acumatica and have those videos available inside of the system here. So with our e-commerce platform, we are able to integrate both our 
products within our ERP and have them automatically push over to our products page in our e-commerce platform. We have the tools to allow us to synchronize these things in real time. So if I needed to make changes directly in Acumatica, I could make those changes and we'll just call this demo. You know, when I make this change, you know, Acumatica can then synchronize that back to the system. So within our commerce platform, we have processes that will prepare this data and then automatically process it for us so that we don't have to manually do all of these syncings back and forth. You always have that capability if you guys want to have better control over the synchronization of the data. But truly, in Acumatica, we can set a lot of these entities to sync in real time. And we can always look at our sync history here to see what has been processed. And I can see here that my item has been processed. And so if I go ahead and refresh, you can see now that my, de now my description has changed. So you can control all of those key attributes within Acumatica and have those things automatically sync to big commerce. So now that we've seen how we can manage product information in Acumatica and have that sync to our big commerce site, I'd now like to kind of take the look of what our customers could potentially see with the integration of the retail commerce edition of Acumatica. From a customer standpoint, we have the ability to do customer pricing, we have the ability for customers to see their order history, whether that was orders placed on the big commerce site or orders that have not been placed on the big commerce site. So with our sync, we're able to do bi-directional um, information when it comes to the customer side of things. So let's take a look at some of those particular features. So if I am in my big commerce site and I go ahead and log in using my username and password that I have either been given or I created when I set up my customer account, when I log in right away, I can look at my account here and I could see right away my orders. And some of these orders were placed online and some of these orders were not placed online. And so I can drill in to these orders to see kind of what I have, uh, when it was shipped out, what the order total is, where that went, and then even just kind of reprint uh, an online invoice to see what that was done. So this information is the same information that I would have seen uh, with order number, in this case, order number 216, but this is information that I would have seen directly in Acumatica. If I wanted to maintain some new information here, like on my account settings, and I want to manage some address information, you could see the same address information that is currently in my customer's account. So if I go into Acumatica, utilize my universal search to pull up business accounts, I can pull this up here, look for my USA bartender school, select that customer and then come over and look at any of the address information. So if I go to my locations, you can see the three different locations are represented here. I do also have the ability, again, because I have bi-directional access, I could create a new address, right? And I could say, this is, we'll just call this for myself. Oops, sorry, wrong tab here. Joko USA bartending school and give my own number and my own address. Oops, that's wrong address there. Started putting in my home address. And then I can save that address. 
with Acumatica's integration, we can actually push that information back into Acumatica. So again, we can take a look utilizing our commerce module, looking at our sync history and being able to see what kind of information has been processed, what might be ready to process, uh, what's actually been processed specifically, you know, and whether I'm looking at customer information, things like that. So as this information is pulled in, Acumatica will start to update that info. While the sync is working in the background, if I go end up back to my ready to process, I could see here that Acumatica is ready to synchronize this information. If I want to manually sync it, I have that capability as well. And then once that information has been synced back to the system, this information should be available underneath my locations inside of Acumatica. And you can see here that it has now added my new location directly in from Acumatica. So having that bi-directional, being able to do customer pricing, being able to see online, offline order history, all of that is capable through our retail commerce edition with our connector to big commerce. All right, moving on with the customer persona, we took a look at how customers can access their own information, add addresses, update information about their company, all through the integration between Acumatica and Big Commerce. So now let's just go ahead and see how the order processing works. And so what we'll do is we'll take an order on the e-commerce site, have Acumatica process that into the sales order screen and then we'll use some of the native tools in Acumatica that will help us with fulfilling it from our warehouse and taking care of warehouse management and picking and packing to invoicing to emailing that invoice out as well as committing that invoice to the accounting system. So let's go ahead and start here at the big commerce site. I'm just going to go ahead and add this item to a cart. I'm going to take this Nikon 7500 we've been working with all day. We're going to go ahead and check out here. And as we are working through this particular order, I'm just going to, because I am logged in at, with my account, I am going to be able to select my address that I want that to be shipped out of and I'm gonna choose my shipping method. And in this case here, I'm gonna go ahead and select a payment. Now I have a couple of payment methods on file, but if I need to add an additional one, I can just come down here, use a different card, and then go ahead and populate that card number here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my test card number. It's a MasterCard. Go ahead and put my name on there. Now I can save this. For the future but in this case I'm not going to go ahead and do that I'm just going to now go ahead and place this order after this order is placed the big commerce connector for Acumatica is going to process that order internally and eventually we should see order number 316 in Acumatica so how we are going to be able to see that is we're going to jump into the Acumatica system here. So let's go ahead and flip back over to Acumatica. So give it a second here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and we're going to take a look at Acumatica. And what we'll want to do is go into our sales order screen. So let's go ahead and go to sales orders. We'll bring up our sales orders listing here. And we're going to go ahead and see order number 316. And this is the same order that we had on our web store. And so I'm going to go ahead and pull this order up. And you can see because this customer um, made those selections with the shipping method and the payment online, you're going to be able to see this information 
in our shipping tab, convert that flat rate shipping or free shipping into FedEx ground. And we're going to be able to see that payment that came through from our from the web store. So at the end of the day, we're able to process all of that directly within Acumatica. So it's almost as if you just manually entered that yourself, but we're using this connector to improve efficiency and to minimize mistakes having systems where you have to manually take your orders off the web and put them into Acumatica. Just like any particular company utilizing the Acumatica system today, we're going to go ahead and do a bulk of processing orders. So what we're going to do is go to our process order screen where we can actually create shipments for all of the orders that are shippable. So right now I'm going to go ahead and process all and go ahead and create these shipments. What you can see here is anytime you see a little clock or schedule icon on a processing page, this means this, this actual process can be scheduled. And so Acumatica can be told at specific times throughout the day or once a day, however many times you want to do it, go ahead and process this action at this specific time. What we'll also do is then go ahead and go into our process shipments screen, and we're going to go ahead and generate all of the pick lists. So we'll see all of the pick lists that are needed, and we'll see this new one. Um, we'll just process this one right here, and we're going to go ahead and process this shipment. Now, printing the pick lists, we can modify this pick list utilizing any one of our report designer tools. Uh, so we can make this look and feel exactly how you want this to look. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use Acumatica's WMS module that is built into their mobile app. And we're going to use that to ship this particular order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my Android device. And I am going to actually, let me just sign out of here. And I'm going to log in to the Acumatica app directly to the same instance that I currently have. Within our Acumatica mobile app, we actually have warehouse management. So I'm going to access that here. And I'm going to go into the pick, pack, and ship module. Right now, it's going to ask me to scan the shipment number. And I'll just use my camera here. And we're going to go ahead and take a picture and scan that shipment. We're now going to be asked what location we want to pull from, and we're going to pull this from our storage location. And then it's going to ask me for the item. So I'm going to just use the scanner here, and I'm going to scan this item as well. Once this item is picked, you can see here the shipment has been picked. Now what I could do is I could actually pack it. So I'm going to go ahead and change modes down here and switch to my pack mode. And then I'm going to go ahead and scan the item again to say that it's going into my particular box. And then at the end of this, this should tell me that my shipment is packed. Shipment number 4769. Let's remember that particular shipment number. So I'm going to go ahead up to the hamburger menu at the top. And we are going to go ahead and confirm this shipment. What Acumatica is doing in the background, because I am integrated with, to my shipping carriers utilizing EasyPost, I'm able to actually go back into Acumatica, access my shipment, and we're going to pull up 4769. You can see that it is now confirmed. And because I have integration to my shipping carriers, I've actually generated my tracking number as well as my package labels for my particular uh, for my particular shipment. So all of this gets processed automatically, you know, through Acumatica and through um, our WMS and our automation tools that are available in Acumatica. Now, what happens here with the system when it goes back to Big Commerce? 
is what we end up doing is we send this tracking information back from Acumatica to Big Commerce. So what we can look at here is if we go back into our web order. So let's take let's go back here first. Take a look at this shipment. We have tracking number two seven eight four eight two uh two uh, thirty eight hundred so if i went ahead and minimize this and let's go back to our uh web store because i am logged into my account i am able to go into my orders inside of big commerce i could see order number 316 i can click on that and you can see that the order status has changed to shipped and I have the same tracking number information. So I get all of that information that I currently had uh, on that particular order. So you could see, again, not having to add the order to Acumatica, being able to use our automation tools, warehouse management, automated fulfillment, pick, pick, pick pack, and ship integrations with Easy Post. Not having to leave Acumatica just maintains that efficiency. Now, if I go back into my system here, let's go back into Acumatica. And now I can turn this over to my accounting team where they can process all of the confirmed shipments and turn around and prepare invoices for everything that's been confirmed. So now they'll go ahead and process and prepare these invoices. You'll be able to see all of that information here. Again, you can uh, you can schedule these processes. When I start to process my invoices and memos, I can email my invoices directly to my customers if they receive emails. And then if I'm ready to go ahead and release those invoices, I can go ahead and release those invoices. So generally, we are able to now see under our invoices screen, you know, we could see here that we've got our invoices that have been processed. So with that, if I go back into Acumatica here and I look at some of my reporting options, you could see that we rely a lot on these dashboards to give us those insights, you know, what's trending from sales, you know, what orders have been, you know, what processed records have we had, you know, from an e-commerce standpoint, I can do this by store because again, we talked about earlier, we can manage multiple stores and we could see, you know, what records are unpaid, what records are failed, you know, what have we processed, you know, what have we processed in the last seven days. So we can get direct insight into our actual connected store to Acumatica. So what did you guys think? We saw how Acumatica's Retail Commerce Edition with the Big Commerce Connector can increase efficiency by being able to maintain one source of the truth. All of your customers, all of your items, all of your orders, all your shipping, all taking place inside of Acumatica ERP. And we're using that olive branch of our Big Commerce Connector to communicate the pertinent information back and forth with Big Commerce and our e-commerce platform. So what kind of customers are the best fit for the Retail Commerce Edition of Acumatica? One that is completely digital native, you know, a company that typically sells online, very tech oriented, seeing the immediate value in the ease of setup between an ERP and an e-commerce platform. There's a lot of other platforms that are out there, but it takes a lot of custom configuration to get all of these things to talk to one another. So another good candidate, you know, distributors and manufacturers that are looking to expand their channel of sales. You know, it's a good way to dip their toe in without much effort. Some people that we should be careful with, complex manufacturers that do configure, to, you know, uh, maybe that do configuring on the fly or things like that. 
uh, ones that need integrations to the bomb, often with a product configurator. You know, they we do have some third-party ISVs that have options for that now. But those are ones that we should take a deeper look to make sure that they are a good fit for the retail commerce edition. We also have other solutions that are available. You know, we have e-commerce integrators made by uh, ISVs or independent software vendors that integrate with Magento, WooCommerce, two big ones there. We have EDI partners like SPS Commerce and True Commerce that can integrate EDI and other marketplaces with Acumatica. We have a good partner with Saligo, who is an iPaaS or an integration platform as a service integrator. So they can take APIs from different providers and give you one place where you can actually put that stuff together. We've got multiple payment solutions that we work with, multiple shipping solutions outside of EasyPost. Like I said earlier, Acumatica has an Amazon marketplace connector coming out in the next few months. And then we have point of sale options from Acumatica's native POS to one retail to fusion to even Shopify POS. So we've got lots of options that are available here. When you're ready to start this journey of utilizing big commerce or Shopify, there might be other people that you might need to get involved. And those are typically what we call digital agencies. Those are like companies that are put together to help you design your e-commerce platform so that you can market that as a tool to generate sales. So there, these guys are out there to help with graphic design, copywriting, helping you guys utilize that e-commerce platform to be that best salesperson out there. Those folks will be primarily handling your advanced promotions, your blogs, your product navigation, how you represent yourself on that commerce platform. And so that digital agency can work directly with your e-commerce team to build that customer facing solution out. And then all we're using Acumatica for is to bridge the gap between that commerce platform and your shipping systems and your invoicing systems. So what did we take a look at today? We looked at what is retail commerce. You know, we talked about the difference between storefront and marketplace, you know, our connector, you know, what's the difference between using big commerce? Uh, what makes our connector different and how easy it is to utilize. We took a live look at it and we talked about who might else be involved and what kind of customers are the best fit. Again, my name is Chris Joko. I am the Principal Solutions Architect at DSD Business Systems. I want to thank you for the time that you spent with me today. I hope it's been informative and please reach out if you have any other additional questions. I look forward to working with your company.